Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will uh, see how the reinforcement is modeled in Abacus. To define river in Abacus we will use uh, wire base feature in the part module and T3D2 element in order to define river in Abacus. This is our model. We will use a concrete block which will be 200 by 500 millimeter and tree reinforcement having dia 60 millimeter. The length of river is 960 millimeter and the spacing between each river is 80 millimeter. So let's start. The concrete block will be three dimensional, deformable, and solid. Okay. Another part is river. It will be three dimensional deformable, but the base feature will be used as where. Okay, now we will declare two material properties, one will be concrete and another will be steel. The concrete properties will be used to, the, uh, to in case of uh, concrete block and the steel material properties will be assigned in river. We will declare two sections. One is a concrete section, it is a solid homogeneous. Another section will be river. It will be category, it will be beam. Type will be truss. Cross sectional area. We will use 16 millimeter bar. The area of 16 millimeter bar is 201 millimeter square. Okay, now we will assign these sections. Okay, done. We, it, it is needed uh, to use the river at a perfect location in the assembly module. Or we can say that in the assembly module, it is needed to assemble these two parts which is concrete block and river at the same location. There you see there are some cover. So in order to make the simulation convenient, we will declare some no datum nodes and we will assemble the river there. We will use wireframe as a render model, render model uh, tools datum offset from point. Okay. Okay, uh, now go to assembly module. Okay, 
since we, we in assembly module we can uh, assemble the parts in this same look in the, in the exact location uh, as we expect by using some constraint okay Okay, it is now uh, assembled in the exact location we expect. Now we will go uh, to the constraint. It is required that if we uh, to embed the reinforcement in the solid block, otherwise it will float down. So embedded region continue. In prompt area, Abacus wants to define wants to uh, select the embed region so we, we do it at the view this is my embedded region then abacus wants to uh, find out what would be my host region select region Okay. We'll declare a step. Let's check what is the step in constant. Okay, it's okay, no problem. I will declare the boundary condition. Now we'll need a, we'll need to do the mesh of the parts. See three D eight L. Okay. family you have to select truss see t3 d2 element okay now it is uh, we can sub, uh, sub, submit our uh, job which we create Okay, the job has been completed. Results. Okay, the deflected shape. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, see my next video tutorial. In that video tutorial, I will. Uh, uh, use uh, I will show you how to define reinforcement in the another problem and we will show we will see how position constraints are used about some position constraints which are available in Abacus thanks everybody. thank you everybody